So the downside of riding your motorcycle to work is that you actually have to stop and go to work. But on the plus side, you get to ride it home, and I get to stare at it on the security camera all day. I count that as a win. So I can't tell if putting the windshield back on here helps or hurts the audio. I mean, I think it'd do better, right? So I don't know about you guys, but whenever the weather permits, I always love riding the motorcycle to work. Now my commute's maybe, I don't know, five miles, usually takes about 15, 20 minutes. But I found it increases my mood and just makes my day that much better. And of course, like I said in the intro, the best part of riding a motorcycle to work is that you get it right at home. I mean, that's, especially now that fall temperatures are coming in, oh man, it's 60, it's 61 degrees this morning. So as like all subjects, I am no expert and I can only speak from my personal experience. But I think there's a lot of benefits to riding a motorcycle to work. One is going to be fuel economy. I mean, I'm getting 50 plus miles to the gallon on this 750. And as far as selecting a bike to commute on, probably the wisest thing you could do is choose the bike that one you're most comfortable on. And two, you ride the best. I mean, you know, one you know. Upside down, inside out, back ways, front ways, you know, make sure you're one with your machine, so to speak. And of course, if you're one of those states that has a lane filtering or lane splitting law, which we do not here in North Carolina for some reason, instead of getting stuck in that bumper to bumper traffic, you can ride just right down the middle. You know, which some folks say, you know, around here you should do it anyway because it, it's safer statistically for motorcycle riders to be out in front of everyone since the majority of all accidents in the United States are, you know, getting rear-ended. And that doesn't necessarily mean motorcycles, that's kind of everything. And of course, if you are going to commute, you probably need a little bit of storage. You're going to be carrying a little bit of something with you. So I put a sissy bar on this thing recently, which is great because I can strap my bag to it laptop, my tools, my day-to-day -day stuff. And then I got saddlebags for everything else. You know, because I usually carry the basics. A tire pressure gauge. I have a little battery compressor I keep with me. Which, if I get a blowout, I'm kind of screwed because these wheels are spoked, but whatever. I always keep a little poncho in there, too. I don't have full rain gear. Because I usually don't... If, if the weather's not going to be nice, I don't usually ride. Which, really, that's just about all I need. You know, I'm not commuting, you know, on a bike for necessity, it's more of because I want to. So there's always that choice. If the weather's not, you know, if the weather doesn't allow it, then I ain't doing it. I don't like being wet, I don't like being cold. Eight hours later. But you're definitely more exposed to the elements, obviously. I mean, because if you're in a car, you have a roof, windows, doors, I mean, you heck, you guys know what cars look like. And as much as it distracts from the overall look of the bike, if I'm doing any any kind of distance or you know frequent trips I'll still put the windshield back on and that's of course is a Memphis Shades they call it a dark smoke but I mean it, I don't know it looks regular smoke to me but whatever you know essentially it's just any excuse to ride it's like this afternoon you know it's a beautiful sunny day it's maybe 80 degrees just an absolutely gorgeous afternoon it's a nice way to decompress after the day if you guys notice, on the way home here, we're actually taking a different route than we did on the way to work. And that's mainly just because of traffic. I don't trust a single one of these people out here. You, know, you just gotta make sure you keep your head up, your eyes open. Constantly scanning left, scanning right, all these inlets, outlets, because everybody's in a hurry, man, they want to go home, sick of being at work all day, we got places to be and beer to drink. I'm not going to sit there if I don't have to. Bump! Ugh. So I'm definitely a proponent of gear when riding around in general. But doing this kind of stuff, if I know there's going to be traffic, I usually wear a little bit more. Like at a bare minimum, you know, gloves, helmet, 
boots which I got some new riding boots these are not them these are my regular every day-to-day -day western style work boots but if I know I'm gonna encounter a bunch of traffic I'll usually throw the jacket on as well which if I'm not wearing you know this it's you know I got that street and steel leather vest with the Alpine Stars back protector in it. I need to upgrade the back protector in this thing. I actually want to get a different jacket, to be honest with you. I mean, this is still this is still my inexpensive beginner mesh jacket. So I definitely want to get something better at some point before too long, but it's going to start cooling down even more. So probably wait till spring, get something really nice. You know, treat yourself. You should probably do this anyway, but if you're going to be riding your bike to work every day, I would definitely make sure you are on top of the maintenance and that's actually one thing I like about the arrow is that it is shaft drive so there's no chain to lube no chain to wear out stretch need to be replaced doesn't need to be cleaned, none of that stuff but I want to do my pre-flight check every time before I get on the bike I'll verify turn signals are operational and the front brake and the rear brake both illuminate the tail light or the brake light because if nothing else, I mean, if, if I got a light out, I at least want to know about it. Hey, there's a trike. Don't see those very often. But when I have the opportunity and the weather allows, I mean, I love taking the bike to work. I mean, it's more ride time. And it's a great way to start and a great way to end the day. So if you made it to the end, I'd like to thank you for watching. Even if you've already clicked off and you're not there to hear this, I'd like to thank you for watching because I like you anyway. If you think I did a good job, please do me a favor, hit subscribe, like it if you want to. And I will catch you guys on the next ride. See ya.